Okay, we're going to test out uh, module completion now. So I'm going to uh, click the student view button. To be honest, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. So I'm going to be in student view and I'm going to click on uh, the modules. And uh, I see this module that we've created here, uh, learning about Canvas. You'll notice that there's uh, no check marks in any of these things here that I need to uh, do. So I'm going to uh, click on the table of contents that we put in there. And since I clicked on it, actually that was one of the things I was supposed to do is click on the table of contents. And so my progress bar has started. So I'm at 16.7% done. So um, completed is the table of contents. Uh, there's a whole bunch of red buttons, which means they're, they're not completed and they need to be. So if I start clicking on some of these things, this just says must view, may the canvas be with you Jedi training. So if I click on that, um, uh, I don't have access to that because I'm just in the student view, but you are in that class as well, so you would be able to see that page. If I go back, um, it, it's all right because it's still, all I had to do is click that link. So it actually took the parameter off and it, now I'm at 33.3%. I can look at the buttons page. And uh, so instead of just viewing this page, I come down to the bottom and I click mark as done, done. So then I can come up here and I can click table of contents and I come back and there we go. And now it's checked off, I'm halfway done. Cabin Fever Day, the game, I must mark this as done. So I'm going to click on that. And there's a little game here to play if it loads, but I'm going to come down here and click mark as done. And I'm going to come here and click table of contents. And that'll take me back and now I'm 66.7% done. There's a pop quiz. So I'm going to try to take this pop quiz here. It says I need to score two points on it. So I'm going to begin the quiz. It's out of three, so there's three questions. Which is, which one is the most fun? Obviously, Cabinet Fever Day. I would like to retire at the end of this year. Um, I don't know, let's see, I'm going to say false. Who is the best teacher? Well, there's no question there. So I click Submit, Submit it, and uh, let's see how many I got right. I got two out of three right. I must have supposed to have been retiring as well. So I'm going to click Return, and uh, let's click on Modules, and click on the Table of Contents again. You'll see that I had green check marks on the side there in that module view. So now I'm 83.3% of the way done. So I'm going to click uh, what your, I'll just come back to the modules just to show you that again. So if you're in the modules view, you're going to see green check marks coming down here too. So you can either use uh, my table of contents thing or you can, which I think looks a little nicer, or you can just use the regular modules page. So I'm going to click the table of contents again. I'm going to come down here to do this last thing. I need to make a post in some forum. What's your favorite thing about CFD, Cabin Fever Day? And uh, so I'm going to click reply and um, I like choosing my own workshops, something like that. And then I'm going to click post reply. I don't know if it ended up doing that or not. I did. Test student. Okay. So if I um, click on modules again and I look at this, uh, yep, they're all green. So I click Table of Contents, and 100%, uh, I'm all done. It says, congratulations, test student. You have successfully completed learning about Canvas. Okay, I um, logged in as Mrs. Jakes just to show you how this uh, thing uh, works because she had already completed this module. So if uh, you're in, the in some course and you have your module, and here's Learning About Canvas module, and she has all green check marks. So if she clicked on the Table of Contents, um, you'd be able to see that it's 100% all done. She clicks on the badges, you'll see that she has earned this badge, the you approved badge. And um, if, uh, if, you, if you click on this to view details of the badge, um, you can see the criteria, but basically that just means you had to finish the uh, module. Um, you can share it on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter, so you can share your badges if you're prone to do that. If she clicks on the leaderboard, though, it's kind of what I want to show you. So um, here's the leaderboard of um, everybody that has completed this module. So there's a whole bunch of number one places because uh, these are people that were in my workshop, so they actually 
did it. Everybody else, Kevin Fieberday, wasn't in the workshop, so they'd all be like in number two position. But uh, it's um, it doesn't tell the real name of who these people are, but it puts an adjective and in some kind of a creature, so it's kind of cool. So there's nascent uh, opossum and improbable python and stuff. But this right here is uh, Mrs. Jake. So you'll know who you are, and your and her alias is essential cassowary. So. Um, you can click right here and uh, share uh, your real name. I can't because I'm just logged in as her, but if she was actually logged in, she could click here and share my real name so that if anybody else clicked on the leaderboard, um, you're, you are allowing your name to be on the leaderboard. Otherwise, it's always going to be kind of a, you know, uh, kind of a pseudo, pseudo name here. So um, that's how you can see your badge and, uh, and, if you had clicked on progress, this would just be showing your progress through all the different badges that might be um, assigned in this course. There's only one badge here, so it just shows that she's, she's done. Okay, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense.